Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are going to continue playing around with the You Are Amazing project kit. Um, we kind of dove into it a little bit on Monday. I showed you kind of some of the items that uh, come in the kit and um, items that are just different ways that you can change the card patterns around. So if you are a paper pumpkin lover, um, this is kind of a paper pumpkin on steroids, if you will. Lots of uh, different projects and, and items that you can use kind of all throughout the season, all throughout the year. So, all right. So when you pop on, say hello, tell me where you're from, chit chat amongst yourselves. Hi, Mary Ellen. Nice to see you. Um, and if you like these videos, feel free to share them. And um, also head on over to the Artsy Fartsy Gallery on YouTube and hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it. And then when I post videos, you will be notified. And so you won't miss any of them. Hello, Norma Jean. Good morning. Nice to see you. So here is... Oh, start going with this hand instead of the other hand all right so it is the you are amazing project kit um, and and then coordinating stamp set let me get rid of this off of here comes in this amazing box you know that's gonna be great to store lots of lots of cards in <laughs> it's very big I'm sure you could always find a use for those boxes um, the coordinating colors for this set is Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, and Flirty Flamingo. Now I tried my flirt, oh, and Pretty Peacock. Let me get that one out. Pretty Peacock, can't forget that one. That one looked really good on the card on Monday. All right, so the card we're going to do today is actually um, this one here. Um, there is a bigger picture on the directions here let me find it there we are so this one we're going to work on today and of course change up some things just to you know make it different first off though um yesterday my flirty flamingo was quite um it, it needed some ink so i thought well i had a, a person contact me the other day and ask how do you ink up your ink pad so i thought you know what let's just do this all together and then you will all know how this works and maybe you do it differently than i do i'm sure there's multiple ways to do things hi evelyn and amy good morning so my flirty flamingo i have my little flirty flamingo reinker here so i'm just going to open up my ink pad gonna give that a little shake I don't know if you're supposed to or not I was about to go craft but received a notification that you were live so my crafting can wait oh craft along with me I'm just doing the project kit today again we're gonna work on that and like change up some cards using all the same items it's almost like chopped a little bit so you just kind of pour on the reinker I don't know let it sink in but it's no longer kind of bubbly on top. See how it's going in so easily. It's not just sitting on top. So I think that's enough. And if I need more, I need more. Now I use my bone folder to kind of give this a smoosh to kind of even things out. Some people use the back of a spoon, which is probably smart. <laughs> then you don't stain your uh, bone folder, but ju just kind of mashing it in a little bit. Just go different directions. Just helps get it in the ink pads. And I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but when you um, store your ink pads um, the way they're kind of intended to be stored, the, the pad is actually upside down so that the ink is forced to come to the surface of the ink pad so that it's ready to roll the next time you are going to use it. Isn't that great? They've thought, Stampin' Up! thought of everything, I tell you. 
Okay, I'm out of baby wipes, but I did get my Simply Chamois, so that I'm just going to actually just wipe this on here. There we go. We are good to go. Hello, France and Donna. Good morning. So if we decide to use this color, we are ready to roll. Um, I'm going to be using this stamp today on our cards. So of course, the great thing about this kit is the card bases come already fancily colored for you. And even the back has some fun colors on it. So you can use as is, you can cut it, you could cut it apart and say, you know, make a smaller mat inside here with this color. There's so many options. You can change up the card base and then, like I say, just cut these layers apart and create your own kind of card. I don't know. Then comes with this one. This one uses this piece of gold foil. Easy peasy, look at this. You just pop them out and your cards are gonna be ready to roll. Also, this card uses these longer foil or um, vellum pieces. It's kind of like a big ribbon. And then these beautiful foil cutouts that kind of map the sentiment. And then we need the layer that we're going to stamp on, which I believe are these larger pieces of white with the gold around it. So boom, look how quickly this is ready for you. Sorry, Getting a little wild and woolly here. And so basically all your cards are ready to put together. These are great if you're doing card classes. You know, prep is very minimal and simple, so just something to think about. <laughs> All right, so um, this card I believe uses the Pretty Peacock, so let's um, stamp on here first with Pretty Peacock. We'll kind of do the one as stated in the instructions, and then we'll veer off and create our own. We'll just do our own thing. But really, you could uh, make all four exactly the same and it would be super duper quick. Quick way to have multiple cards. There we go, hip hip hooray, three cheers for you. That could be, a, that's a great sentiment because you could use that for so many different reasons. Birthday, anniversary, congratulations. team members. That would work great. All right, let's start. That's the only thing we have to stamp. So let's just start layering this and putting it together. So first off, I see that they've got this gold piece kind of running down, um, a little bit off-centered, I would say. So I'm just going to use some liquid glue here. Laying this down. It's almost centered, but it's not. Oh yeah, and I dipped my foil in the glue, which is always wonderful. That's okay, I'll go back later and uh, kind of get my eraser when it's dried and uh, take that off. Next, it's got that piece of vellum, this little ribbon, which kind of just lays on top here. Now I'm gonna be mindful as to where I glue because I don't want to um, vellum the adhesive kind of show through super well. So I just kind of want to think about how I'm gonna be placing these items. So I'm okay to put glue in kind of the center of this foil bit. Just like so because that's gonna get covered up, but see how it really shows through with vellum, so you have to be very strategic on where you're placing things. Okay, next layer is this foil bit. I think you could make this card in like two minutes. 
It's easy, hey? Let's move it down just a little because I see there's a little bow up top. So we'll just leave a little room for that. Oh, I'm getting glue everywhere now. <laughs> All right, and the hip hip hooray goes over top. Like so. And then our little, got a little ribbon bow here. Looks like they doubled it. So I'm just going to double my thread here and then tie myself a bow. Do, do, do. Can I do it? Shrink up those tails a little. Cut off the leftovers and that round piece. Let me get some glue dots. So with this project um, kit, you do need your own uh, ink pads and glue, adhesive. All right, done. Wasn't that simple? <laughs> Easy. All right, let's do another one and change it up just a tad to make it look a little bit different. So we're just gonna be going with it, right? Just let's let's try it this way this time. So let's do something similar, but just changed from portrait to landscape. That direction. So how is everybody's weather today? Are you uh, getting some sunshine? There's a bit of sunshine, but I can see there's something rolling in <laughs> out there. Um, let's change up our color. Let's go with our new flirty flamingo since we just inked it up really well. And that should be nice and bright. When I took the dogs out this morning, there was quite the wind and the snow was going sideways. and so. But I hear it's supposed to be nice and warm for the weekend, so that's, that's always a plus. There we go. Looks good. All right, so I guess the next part, we had this ribbon piece, didn't we? Now, nothing saying that we need to keep it that way. We could keep it like that. In fact, yeah, let's do it. Let's just keep it as is. I'm just gonna, well, I probably shouldn't have put that there. I didn't listen to my own instructions. How is that possible? Okay, now let's, we'll just go a little more to the right here. Cover that up a little. That Bermuda Bay foil piece. And instead of gluing this down, let's pop this one up. Just to make it a little bit different. Cloudy and windy and one above. Oh, that's nice. That works. Sunny. Oh. About three degrees there. Oh, nice. Good, good. Sounds like it's a decent morning for most of you. This over top. Like so. And the last thing we have to add is that little bow. So again, I'm just going to, going to double it up and tie myself a bow. I know, it takes a lot of practice. You're sitting in front of the TV one day at night or something and you just, might be a good idea if you want something to do, just to practice tying your bows with ribbon. Okay, glue dots. Let's add that. Now the next decision will be where are we going to put this? How about we can put it over here. We could cover up that glue, little glue bit that's kind of left behind. We can put it there. I think I'm going to put it here. Cute. What do you think? Not too bad, hey? Just from changing out 
sunny, but feels like minus 16. Oh my goodness. Oh, cold, cold, cold. All right, so normally we're supposed to work on this side, but is there anything saying that we can't go this way? Just saying. Let's try this. Now this time, instead of, I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Let's give this some ribbon cuts. Did I cut it exactly in half? Nope. So let's do this exactly in half so that they're both the same size. And let's cut those ribbon cuts. So I cut up the center, go from the edge to that top, I flip it over, go from the corner to that middle, then those are both exactly the same. Go for it, Francis. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Okay. Here's my thoughts. I think I'm gonna go like this, and like this. And like, does it poke out? Just a tad, we could even make it go something like that. We'll make it work. Or to make it even longer, let's go like this. Okay, decisions, decisions. Put a little bit of glue down. Like so. And let's go. This one, we'll put, the reason why I cut it was just to make it a little bit longer. Because when it's hiding behind that uh, foil piece, nobody's really going to know that it's cut there, will they? right to the edge there. Yeah, that's good. And that one. And that one. Okay, so we've cut this. This is going to go over top. I like it. Should have probably moved that vellum piece over just a tad, but it's all good. All right, here's an idea I think I have. I'm going to actually get out the Stamparatus. I don't use this often, but I think this is going to be a fun idea. Uh, there it is. Let's clean this off first. Okay, I'm going to lay my little sentiment or my paper here. Let's just put it right here. And here's my little magnet. And then I'm going to lay this over top where I would like it. Let's push this down. Now I want to kind of block different colors on this stamp, right? So we can we can do multiples multiple colors. First off, you could use, um, if you have the stamp and write markers, you could actually just color them in with the marker. It doesn't work with blends, but you could color those in different colors and re-stamp. Or if you don't have the stamp and write markers, you can actually use your ink pads, but you're going to need some either sticky notes or washi tape. Let's go like this. We'll start off with a hip hip array in one color. So I'm just blocking off 
the layer that I don't want to get covered with ink. So let's start, since, we're, since we've got that green background here, let's start with the green. Granny Apple Green, we haven't used it yet on these cards. So hip hip hooray, you can't see what I'm doing, sorry. So I'm inking this up and then I'm gonna take off this ink pad, or this sticky note, pardon me. And then let's push this down. Lift it back up and we've got a hip hip hooray. Now for me, I don't know, it's not very bright and dark. Maybe this one needs another ink up too. Uh, let's put this back down. And the great part about a Stamparatus is that if you don't get it right the first time, do it again, because everything is lined up perfectly. So take off your sticky note. Let's try this again. There, that looks better, doesn't it? Okay, so now I'm gonna get my I'm gonna actually take this off or out of my case and just give it a, a wipe here. I know people have um, actually just bought these and cut them up into say quarters and they use that on their um, stamparatus. I'm just gonna, if there's a little bit of water here, I just need to, there. And now I got Kleenex on here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let me get my Simply Chamois again and just give this a little there. That looks better. Okay, so next color, let's go with three. We're going to do three. And maybe cheers. Three cheers. ink up in one color. Uh, let's go with that flirty flamingo. It'll be a nice bright hit. Ooh, really bright. <laughs> Three cheers. Take this off. Take this off. I think I'm going to throw those right into my garbage bucket. Ready? Here we go. Three cheers. Hi, Lori. Hi, Melissa. Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Let's do that again. So I'm just masking off those bits that I don't want to be inked. The sticky notes, or like I said, you can use washi tape. We just inked up this ink pad at the beginning, and so it's very, very wet right now. Take this off. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, let's lay this back down and see what happens. Three cheers. Looks good. Now I'm gonna get my Simply Chamois and just wipe this down. And then I think for the last color, should we go with Bermuda Bay, since we have the Bermuda Bay um, kind of matte. So I'm going to ink off, or mask off everything but that bottom for you. this off and our color is ready to go for you oh looks good so hip hip array three cheers for you neat hey how you can do that different colors multiple colors just by inking or masking off what you want he inked up. It's kind of like, well, I suppose it's like an Easter egg a little bit. Okay, I'm actually going to take this off because we are going to be using that again. I'm going to close up my Granny Apple Green ink pad because I haven't done that yet. Okay, 
Here we go. Isn't that cool? I like it. Let's pop that up. Here we go. And I think I'm going to tie on a little bow, but I will do that later just because it takes a little time. But I think I'm going to just pop it right here and it'll be kind of focusing out kind of this way. But here we go on card number three. Isn't that fun? Kind of coordinates with those colors on the other side. So, you know, there we go. Um, our last card. Let's see, what should we do here? How about... Um, let's totally dismantle this card. What time we got? 11.16, how long has this been? 26 minutes? Yeah, let's dismantle it. Okay, my... Maybe not. Where is my trimmer? right behind me. Okay, so let's make this layer be our largest layer. So I'm going to make it four by five and a quarter, the kind of the typical. Oh, that looks good too. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. hang on. I might be changing my mind. Doesn't that look cool though? with a little strip like that. Let's make this as our, our base. So let's make this four by five and a quarter. And let's put in something like that. So I'm gonna say whatever that kind of is. Closest, measurement closest to. So about three and a quarter, so that'll make three and a quarter by four and a half. I'll do a basic white. Actually, this is, should be shorter because I need to account for that. Whoa, little bugs. Plant bugs. This, is that right? Or does it need to be this way? I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Why don't we stamp on here, hip hip hooray, as kind of a little background. Um, maybe a multiple color. Well, maybe we'll just do it in that granny apple green. Good morning, Karen. Nice to see you there yep it's looking like I'm going to need a refill on my granny apple green because it's not quite even all throughout that ink pad by the looks of it so I'll do that after so that it's ready to go for tomorrow and let's just do a little bit of the hip. And a little bit of the hip on the other side. Like so. All right, so if we combine this, throw this on here, throw this on here. We could, let's wrap some of this twine around here and just tie a little knot 
decisions, decisions, hey? Like so. Good. A little bit shorter. If we go like this. Then I really want to make this kind of pop with a bunch of bright colors. So I think let's go with Mango Melody and Flirty Flamingo. However, what about, there is other stamps in this set. There are these cute little stars. How about we do the stars in the yellow and the Mango Melody. Now let's see what it looks like full strength. Oh, we didn't use the gold yet. Oh, okay, just the testing first. So, oh, that needs an ink up too. So I think I'm just gonna go full strength. Let's add some of that hit of yellow in the background. And then I know that that uh, Flirty Flamingo is super duper bright because we inked that up this morning. So let's go in with that. Okay, here we go. Hip hip hooray. You could even cut this off, hip hip hooray, and just do that as a sentiment, right? Or just three cheers for you. There we go. I like that. How about if we just snug, threw this in under here? Another little something in the background. So I'm gonna have to cut it. Okay, so let's just assemble this and away we go. Get some glue. Lay this down as a little background bit. Okay, why is it not? Maybe I need it a little more. Now, I'm gonna turn this over so I can see exactly where I wanna cut that little bit off. Next, I was gonna put this on. We could always tilt and turn too. Oh, we can really make this look as a big party. I don't know, should we? Mm, yeah, let's do it. Hip hip array. Now this. Uh, now I gotta think about this because I need to know where I'm going to need to or be able to uh, cover my glue. So a little bit right here will be all right. And I can always shove some glue dots. I'll put some glue dots underneath here where the string is just, just to help hold down that top part. Let's add this layer. I'm going to do this one kind of parallel to the, our card base. And let's pop that one up. So this is kind of like chopped, right? Everybody gets the same items and you can create however you like using those items. There we go. So this month's Chopped is actually going to be a little bit different because you're going to get almost a full month to create your project. 
Um, February was kind of a, a little bit of a gong show of my life. And, um, oopsie. Oh, yeah, way to go. Way to go. Let's try this again. And it came, the end of the month came so quickly that um, registration just didn't work out until later on. So um, registration is going to go until Friday for Chopped. Um, then we'll send out your kits, beautiful colors this month. Um, and just to kind of help with the slow post right now. Maybe we'll just go twice around, that might help. We're just gonna kind of extend the challenge until April 24th. So it's kind of gonna be kind of over two months, if you will. All right, let's attempt this again here without <laughs> taking this off. That one. So if you've never tried Chopped, it is the month to try. It's $10 if you live in Canada. And seven, seven dollars, I believe. If you live in the U.S., you get the supplies come to your door, and you use whatever items you want. Wow, that's a colorful, busy card. Whatever colors and stamps you can add on, and now I would put. I think I'm going to put this on Pretty Peacock, if I have. I think I'm going to have to cut myself a hard base, but I will do that in a moment. Um, and there we go. I almost want to rip this up and put this here underneath it. Wouldn't that be cute? I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to put Pretty Peacock behind here for a card base. I'm going to rip this up and put this, slide this underneath and uh, attach it there. Sorry. There was our second card and our first card that was just like the instructions said. But I love that you can veer off and make whatever you want. So there we go. Four different cards for way different looks. Some new techniques maybe to you uh, to just be reminded of and play around with. But there we go. That is the Your Amazing Project Kit that comes with all these little doodads, even the envelopes. And the envelopes are cool because they have color insides. Isn't that fun? So I think what I would do is probably stamp the um, little, uh, what are these called, star stamp, kind of maybe in the different corners or all the way across the bottom, just to kind of be a little hit of something special um, that you're going to see inside. All right, so if any of you are interested in this, this is where you can go shopping jenhouston.stampinup.net and there is the host code if you're going to place an order online that is under $200 um, and this project kit like I shared on Monday is in the new mini catalog on page 7 so there's all the little bits and pieces that you get in the kit um, you can buy this stamp set separately, which I know I'm going to use uh, even when this project is done because they're nice big sentiments, which I love because well, oftentimes they're just teeny tiny and you know, I like to have sometimes have a big sentiment that you can throw on the front of a card that's quick, simple and just, you know, says here I am. So I like that. And then of course you can always use different ink colors. Um, but you know if you don't have any of these black always seems to work with everything um so um you know you can work your way up to building your way up to having um these different colors but if you don't have it right now it can work with many other things 
You're making me wish I had this kit and stamps and I know it's so quick, Amy. I love it. And this is, you know, perfect for like family. I was thinking like, can you imagine if you had kids birthday party? This would be perfect for that. Just kind of something fun to play with. Um, or, you know, like you going to the cabin and you need something for the kids to do uh, so you don't go stir crazy or now that kids are sometimes at home, um, if they're, you know, have a sore throat or what have you and have to stay home and you, you need something for them to do, this would be great. Like I said earlier, you're planning a card class. You want to do a card class. Simple, simple prep work. You just punch out those little bits and pieces and away you go. Um, yeah, I or you're going on vacation and you just, you know, sometimes you yeah, just have to take your cards with you. <laughs> so just like paper pumpkin kits. I mean, this would be a great kit to take with you. All the supplies are in the box. You just got to grab a couple ink pads and your stamps and blocks and away you go. Easy. And like they have here that they suggest the mini glue dots, the dimensionals and snail. But as you can see, uh, you really don't need dimensionals if you didn't want. Glue dots might be a good idea because you can uh, you need it for that uh, ribbon. But and snail, if you don't have the snail with you and don't want to bring refills, just bring this multi-purpose liquid glue, the Tombow. And it pretty much will glue whatever you need it to. So lots of good stuff here. Whoops. Sorry, everybody. All right. So there we go. Fun, fun. And like I said earlier, if you have not signed up for Chopped yet, try it out this month. If you, you know, get the items in the mail and you're like, oh, what in the world am I going to do with this? Um, don't submit a project or try it out this month just for yourself so you get all the, the items and make something for yourself and if you're just not you know not confident enough quite yet to show off your projects we'll just keep it for yourself and nobody will know and then maybe once you build up your confidence you can you know submit your project i don't know it's just it's a great way to kind of push yourself out, outside of the box and um you know think Think a little differently just like we did today you know just make things a little bit different it's your chance to play <laughs> I always like when I get to play because sometimes I have to you know think about business sides of things and so when I can just play and make and create like this it's a lot of fun all right so hopefully see you tomorrow morning ish uh, at some point when we do the third card from this kit uh, if you missed Mondays, go check back on the YouTube channel, the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, press that button to help me out. And if you want a notification when I do post a video, click the little bell right beside the subscribe button. All right, everyone. Thanks for stopping by today. You are my sunshine for today. Uh, I'm so happy that I got to chit chat with you and create with you today. All right. Hopefully see you tomorrow.